Hello, this week we thought it would be rather interesting to do our own review of the various products that are on the market for washing cashmere. Now, we'll tell you at the end whether we've been convinced by any to transfer over from our normal washing liquid, which we will also share with you at the end. What I'm going to do is wash a different cashmere jumper in each of these washes and I'm going to tell you what we've got because they, some of them vary a lot in price and some are quite expensive and we wanted to see whether it was worth paying the extra in order to get a better result. So we have gone from, well, the cheapest we've picked up is Astonish Non-Bio, super concentrate with built-in fabric conditioner, so we shouldn't need to use fabric conditioner with that. It says it can be used on delicates, so we're hoping it can. That is the first one and that's £2.75 a bottle, so that's the cheapest that we're going to test. The next one you'll all recognise, it's um, one of the big players in washing liquid, it's Aerial Gel. They say it can be used on cashmere. I don't know whether um, it's biological, whether I would want to use it without a fabric softener. We shall be using this one without fabric conditioner, even though my gut tells me that's not going to be a great plan. Now that was £4. And the £2.75 one claims to do 28 washes. The £4 one is 24 washes, so a little bit more expensive. Now the third one is a special wool washing one, makes lots of claims with keratin technology, everyday delicates detergent, it only does 12 washes and it's £7.88 so it's quite expensive but it claims quite a lot of things, it renews the fibre softness, prevents fabric shape loss and it's long lasting fibre flex technology, well we'll see if we can tell, we're going to be doing it, I'm going to be showing the um, washed cashmere to a number of people and seeing whether they, just seeing what their response is, whether it stands out as being particularly nice smelling or feeling particularly soft at the end of it. £7.88, quite expensive for 12 washes, I'd say. So that's the Woolite one. Then the most expensive, it's not even washing liquid, it's cashmere shampoo. It's scentless and it calls itself a wash and a preserve. The cashmere wool and delicates and it's highly concentrated. Now, does it tell me how many washes. It's not clear that it's a machine wash liquid. Okay, well that will be interesting. It's expensive. It doesn't give you any indication of how many washes it does. It's £10. There's 475 mil. So I'm imagining this is the most expensive. But anyway, we're going to give it a go and then we will come back to you with our results. It isn't terribly scientific. We're just going to wash some different jumpers in different washes and do a feel and smell touch at the end. Right, they've been washed in different fabrics. Oh, so we're doing a review. It's not very scientific, is it? So that's washed in one sort. That's been washed in another really? sort. Really? This one feels particularly Those sweet. two have been washed in another one and those two have been washed so Lana you do it too whether you if you think feels the best which you think smells the best a similar smelling I'd say but the I think these two feel the nicest what do you think yeah but I think that one smells the you think that smells the best that's nice I think I prefer the orange one overall mm, I'd say that's the winner you that know. one is an odourless one. Oh, I was going to say, I can't really see. <laughs> that one is Woolite. Astonish, which is the purple one. Right. And Aerial Gel. Oh. And, how much and that's that? without any fabric softener. John was here yesterday and he said Aerial will win. Did he? Yes, because they will have poured money into what fragrance people associate with the clean. Clean. Oh, that's fairly mild to me, mm -hmm. fairly innocuous. That just smells a bit soapy. It's going to be no good, am I? No, no, it's fine. We want everybody's opinions. Oh, that's got a definite lilac key. Or, that's quite nice. Uh, that one has got a, a nice, pleasant uh, floral odour, as far as I'm concerned. So the others think... just smell soapy. That's aerial. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, aerial. That hasn't got much smell, I think. That one's a bit, like, synthetic -y, the smell. Okay. I think. That's quite very soft. Yeah, that's not such a nice smell. It's not very like floral. Okay. It's, I think that's quite like chemically. Yeah. All right. I said that okay. one's quite chemically. I can't smell that much on this. Okay. Well, maybe I can. That one's very strong. I think it's a bit much. I think that one's a bit much. I think maybe that one, that's quite like, I find that quite neutral. Okay. Not too strong or okay. chemically. Okay. I quite like this one. This doesn't really smell of anything. Okay, I think that's my least favourite. 
I don't know. I feel like that's probably my favourite. <laughs> Maybe it's because that's what, um, that's what we use. I feel like this is the most familiar. That hasn't got any fabric softener in. Really? None of them have. No, that feels really them. nice. Nice soft texture. They certainly smell clean, but they don't smell overly perfumed, I would say, that one. Okay. That's more heavily scented. That's quite quite heavily scented, that one. You'll have to wash these again. <laughs> 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 not, not unpleasant, but in fact, it dies off a bit, I think. You... So that one's, yeah, that one's practically odorless by comparison. Is it? Well, actually, it smells fresh. I put that on and I get hit by a, a heavy waft of the detergent and I think, oh, that's just been washed. But it's... Um, Whether it's pleasant or not, it's another it, matter. Yeah. That's quite nice. In order of preference, I'm going to go one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, four. Yeah. Then we have the cheapest, which is Astonish. Gosh, and isn't it Astonish? <laughs> astonished, are you? I am astonished. <laughs> That's yeah, two for the wool light, I three for them. the aerial. Really? Mm. And that, but they, they've been at the bottom for everybody apart from John. Yeah. So that's coming out top, is it? Yeah, so yeah. far. Wow. Mm. Well, Procter and Gamble, but they spend a fortune on research. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't immediately tell any difference in texture. No, what we were quite impressed with is that we mm. haven't used any fabric softener really? in any of them. Really? So that the wool ones yeah. we were sort of imagining would probably had it. We wouldn't need to and that has it built in yeah but that doesn't but it doesn't feel no. materially different no that one doesn't smell very special well it smells nice it just smells very natural mm. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that's really scented is that one that one's scented as well but not much i like that one i think these ones feel the nicest and probably smell the nicest because it's not too strong that smells too strong for me, but those yeah. feel... They feel the nicest. Say, so, Woolite's my winner. Mm. Yeah, Woolite's my winner.